Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to use my uh, NBA simulator for uh, daily fantasy scores. So the first time you get the tool, you want to put your login here and press initialize login. Once you do that the first time, you won't have to do it again. Uh, and then you don't have to download this file every day. All you have to do is go over here and load your players. So what you want to do is click load today's players. And what it's going to do, it's going to come in and load um, whoever's playing today along with um, their team, the position, their salary, which is, this is going to be DraftKings data, but you can copy and paste in your own data if you want, if you have your own projections, or if you want to just copy and paste in maybe, say, the FanDuel um, salaries, and uh, you can get projections from different sources. I use Daily Fantasy Fuel sometimes. Um, they have really good projections. You could get the FanDuel projections from them and just copy and paste them in there. And what it's going to do, it's, it's so it just finished uploading, and then it, it automatically going to upload the, their standard deviation. If you had um, just copied and pasted your own players in, you wouldn't have the standard deviation, but all you have to do is press this generate standard deviations, and it's going to look at the player's name and pull in the standard deviation. What you can do, though, is go over to this tab, the standard deviation, and this is where you want to lo load the latest um, player stats uh, for, for standard deviation. And you get to choose if you want the flat amount or the percentage. What that means is the flat amount is just what their what their standard deviation is. Say they um, average 30 points a game or 30 fantasy points a game and their standard deviation is 10. So roughly they'll score between 20 and 40 for the most part. But sometimes it's good to use the percentage because if maybe they normally score 30 fantasy points per game but all of a sudden some of the stars are out, uh, and they're projected to score 50 fantasy points per game. Now their standard deviation is still listed as 10. So, however, at, at scoring higher points, usually their their standard deviation increases also. So what you'd want to, you could change this to percentage. I mean, that's just kind of, you can play around with it, see which works best for you. Uh, I usually just use percentage, uh, but you can use uh, whatever you feel is best for you. So once you have all the players here, then you're ready to go. You can adjust anything if you want. Uh, if you see the projection and think maybe this player is not going to do as well, you, I mean, I'll change it. Or you can change to whatever you need. And remember this, you can copy and paste over this. And when you're all set, you can run over to here, to main tab. You can do the drop down on how many projections or how many simulations you want to run. I'm just going to run 100. I'm going to click run simulations. And then what it's going to do, it's just going to run the simulations based on their projected points and uh, their standard deviation, which is the, the range of what they normally score. And then it's going to take you to the stats tab. And on the stats tab, that's where we're going to take a look and see like how they do against certain uh, criteria. So here's all the players. Like, again, see, here's the salary, here's their projection. Here's their ceiling. That was their high game. For the 100 games that I, I simulated, here's their low game for all the games I simulated. Here's um, 4x. That's when they score four times their salary. So that's the calculation of, like, see, this person has 11,000 salary times four would mean how many times did they score 44 fantasy points, which here was 89% of the time. Five would be how many times did they score 55 fantasy points, and that's just for this 11,000. So it's 11 times five. If you had someone around 10,000 salary, 10 times 5 would be 50. So how many times did they score 50 fantasy points? 84% of the time. And they're 6 times their, their salary and 7 times their salary. So what we could do then, you could sort this if you want. We could go data, sort, by highest. And here's the guys, 40% of the time are scoring more than 7 times their salary. So if you look, these are usually the lower scoring, lower salaried guys. See, this guy's 4,000. So that means 7x would be how many times did they score 28 fantasy points. And those, usually when you have the, uh, to win tournaments, usually around 7x is probably a good number to target, at least for the lower lower salary guys. guys. But if you get someone like Harden, who's 9,700, and he's getting 7x on a lot of games, that, that could be something worth looking at. And then you can also filter over here by position. Say if you want, just say shooting guard, you can click on true. And then it's just going to pull 
and just sort it by the shooting guards here. And when you're done, you can click this to get rid of it. And if you want to just look at a certain team, too, like here's Boston players. You can look at them. And so on. So all these filters are there for you to, uh, to help you uh, sort this. And that's really the whole tool. When uh, the next day comes, you can just come in here, upload the New Day's players, and run it again. And then you just plug those top guys into your lineups, and uh, you should be good to go. So that was everything. If you get any questions, let me know. Thanks a lot, guys. Bye.